everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring, your number one stop for all things theme park related and Holland related. Today, where are we at? Disneyland. We're at the Disneyland Resort, but we're going to be heading on over to DCA for Oogie Boogie Bash. Our first time to Oogie Boogie Bash this year because all the other tickets have been sold out. So we're going to head on into DCA right now. Go check out all the fun for Oogie Boogie Bash. We got about 30 minutes or so until they start letting in Oogie Boogie Bash and mixing them in with a normal daytime guest. Then we're gonna go have some fun and trick or treat, see Oogie Boogie, see all these special character meet and greets and all that good stuff. You got your candy corn ears rocking today. We didn't dress up because we were too lazy to find a costume, but we're matching in our spirit jersey. Lazy. And she's got her con her cotton candy, her candy corn ears. So I guess that sets in the Halloween spirit as today is the first day of October. So we're in full ride for Halloween season. Let's go have some fun at Oogie Boogie Bash. All right, it's now time to enter. At three o'clock is when they, they're they letting people in today for Oogie Boogie Bash. Usually it's like two or three o'clock, but they're letting us in right now and then we're gonna queue up in there to get like our wristbands and trick or treat bags and guide maps and everything. Also, we just bought this cup from the world of Disney it's a really cute cup, although it features mainly Walt Disney World. It has one thing of Disney in it, which is Carthay Circle. So, kind of odd that they saw it here, but it's cute though, nonetheless. But, very excited to head on in to the Oogie Boogie Bash. All the festivities kick off at 6 o'clock tonight. We've got our wristbands. Now we're about to get our maps and bags for trick-or-treating. We got our trick or treat bags, which has Frozen 2, of course, advertising. And then we have Maleficent on the back. Got the Oogie Boogie Bash guide right here. Could you show off that bash map? So it gives us everywhere where the trick or treat trails are. It gives us all the information of the different characters and such that are meeting green. I'm excited. Are you excited for Oogie Boogie Bash? I want to see the merch. But well, we still have to wait like a couple more hours until all the festivities kick off. We do. And then we can fully experience the Oogie Boogie Bash. Let's go have some fun. Walking past the future site of Avengers Campus, not really much going on for the Spider-Man attraction. A little bit later on tonight, we'll check up on what the backside looks like for Avengers Campus. But for now, we're gonna go head into the Hollywood area and queue up for one of the street trails. We got about 15 minutes till Oogie Boogie Bash starts. So we're gonna queue up for one of the street trails. We're gonna do all of them over there, but we're gonna queue up for one of them right now. And also over here to the left in front of the waterfall is where you can meet the Kingdom Hearts characters. They have both Goofy and Donald dressed up in their Kingdom Hearts attire. Figured instead of coming back here when it's dark and you really can't see anything, we'll come back here right now before all the festivities kick off so you guys can see what Avengers Campus is looking like from the backside. Because from pictures that I've seen, it appears that there's a lots of stuff going on. Like right over here to the left is where there's going to be the Mad Hatter Trick or Treat Trail. Very excited. But let's go to these walls. Looks like the walls have been pushed back a little bit. Pushed back towards the construction site. A couple of weeks ago, they were pushed all the way out to like the front entrance of Guardians. And now they're pushed back. Oh yes, there's lots of stuff going on over there. Quinjet Attraction, which is opening in Phase 2, is getting built up. You can see the structure starting to take place. That's exciting. And as you can tell, as we zoom in, it's going to be a very big attraction. And then right over to the right, right across of it, it's going to be the Pim Restaurant where there's going to be giant sized foods and very tiny foods based on Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, this is exciting to see because we haven't seen a lot of this being done at all, but now there's finally stuff going up as it opens in 2020 and that's very soon. So they're definitely getting work done back here. So we are currently waiting for the Mad Hatter one first, which is the entrance over here. Each of the trick or treat trails have that giant ghost thing that says tree trail on it so that's where we will know that we are at another tree trail so we're gonna do the mad hatter first which is over there 
Are you excited to get some candy? So excited. Get some treats? <laughs> I was recommended by a cast member to do Oogie Boogie later after the parade because they said that afterwards is when it'll be a little bit slower and you can actually have time to like, or like for my instance, to like film him and take pictures and such. Interaction. In, more interaction because Oogie Boogie is not actually a meet and greet character, which is unfortunate, but he is a immersive trick or treat trail character. So you can see him on a podium, but you can't take pictures with him in a more of a photo op type fashion. They also give us these free bags with the price of admission, but then they sell these for eight bucks or seven ninety nine. Yeah, seven ninety nine, eight bucks with a discount with the signature discount. It was six eighty nine. These are a lot better quality though, and they're bigger, which is cool. They come with a little thing inside the the little thing that makes it stiff at the bottom as well. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And the front is like, what would you describe that fabric in the front? This? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. But it's like the, as you can see, it's like holographic kind of. That type of fabric. We got our first candy and we're coming up to the Mad Hatter. There he is. Now this one's a rare because typically they have the normal Mad Hatter, the cartoon version in Disneyland, but this is the more creepy one from the Alice in Wonderland live action remake. We'll get a closer view of him right now. There he is. Yeah. Oh, it's a video. How's it? Is it working? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Now tell me, um, did you come all this way from Wonderland? Yeah, I did. Well, so He's talking to Alice. Coming up on another one. Looks like they're giving apples for this one. Trick or treat. Thank you. Oh, my apple slices are falling out. We just got done with our first treat trail. And I will say we're the first in. So, what I've noticed with the street trail, or just, just the one, you want a more interactive experience with the characters that are there. I feel like it's a lot easier. And a lot of, it's a lot easier when there's less people because people tend to bunch up around the character, obviously. So, if you want more of like an interactive experience with the character, I feel like you should go a little bit later on in the night when it's slower. Yeah. But, I mean, nonetheless, the crowd of people went in front of us and then we were like the only ones surrounding Mad Hatter, so we kind of got to stay there for like 30 seconds or so. It was cool. Now we're gonna go do Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. There he is. I like how spooky this one is. It's all dark and everything. Let's go get a close up view of Dr. Facilier. Hello there. Um, who are you supposed to be? Look at all the skulls down oh, here. Really? Uh, are you familiar with Celia? Really? Oh, were you that enough? They also got these cool looking voodoo skulls up here on the curtains behind them. Attention to theme. Oh, we're coming up on another one. Trick or treat. Thank you. Oh my goodness. My candy bag is loaded. Is your candy bag loaded? Ish. It's do, you need, do you need my other bag? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mine's already filled to the top. Probably because I have a smaller one. No, no, no. Oh look, it continues on out here. Even more candy boosts. It's time to go into the Oogie Boogie tree trail. Also at the Sunset Showcase Theater where they usually play Mickey's Philhar Magic, they're giving a sneak peek of Maleficent, Mr. Seville, only during Oogie Boogie Bash show. Well, right now we're in line and the line's moving pretty fast to get into the Oogie Boogie tree trail. There he is, Oogie Boogie. Oh, this is so cool in here. So cool. Trick or treat. Thank you. There he is, oh my goodness. Like, and the, the thing is, they don't check your wristbands or anything. 
when you go into them or like scan your tickets or anything. So I think that we can go in again. Footage of Oogie Boogie stuff. Oh, I'm anxious to be started. Came into the store to check out the Oogie Boogie Bash merchandise. Got a jacket right there, got a shirt right there, got the hat. These are the specially themed ears for Oogie Boogie. Let's see, what is, oh, they have Oogie on there? That's yeah. cool. Got some more merch over here. Got a shirt over here. Glows in the dark. That's really neat. Got the little sipper here. The shirt? Poor Oogie Boogie Bash, $30. And they have the kids shirt right here. Crop top? Oh yeah, a crop top if you wanted. There's another like baseball tee for the Oogie Boogie Bash. Oh, the spirit jersey's over there? No, I think that's just a jacket. I think they may have ran out for the spirit jersey already. But those are just shirts and jackets. Hey, that bat wasn't here before. Interesting. And Savannah bought the ears. She bought the ears. Of course she did. They were cool, huh? They're good looking. And now we are immersed our way to the other treat trails. The Maleficent one and the Evil Queen one. Heading into another tree trail. I don't know if this is Maleficent or the Evil Queen. We'll see you once we get up there. There she is. There's Maleficent. So with the Maleficent Trick or Treat Trail, that one you definitely have a lot more room to kind of interact with her. A lot more room. Also, Mickey and Minnie are neat and green over here. But there's a really long line for them. They're right in front of a Grizzly River Run. Into the Evil Queen Tree Trail we go. And like I said, you know it's a tree trail because look at the Sabuki ghost. And the fact that it says tree trail on there. And there is the Evil Queen. Oh wait, remember when I said that Maleficent had the most room to interact with? It looks like this one has the most room right here. There she is. Oogie Boogie was very gracious in inviting me though. I was thinking about borrowing some of his thoughts. If you see him, can you let him know? Yes, spine his legs are a very important memory. You can come close, my dears. I am just as gorgeous up close as I am from afar. I have a confession to make. I uh, may have dipped into your candy bag a little bit. May have stolen all of it. No, 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 that's not allowed here, okay? Let's go check the line for Villains Grove. See if it's super busy or not. You can have those, those don't look good. What are these? Skittles, no, 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 those, those are mine. Let's go check out Villains Grove. So this line stretches all the way to the Maleficent Tree Trail, which is all the way by Soren. so I think we'll wait a little later. I'm assuming that it will die down a little bit, as all of the like meet and greets are pretty dead right now. But look, you can already see the lighting effects in there. It's looking very cool. But like the villains meet and greet over here is not that long of a line, so I feel like Villains Grove is going to be died down like after the parade and such. You can see though, once we go in there, we're going to be fully immersed in all the cool lighting effects and such. Into another tree trail we go. This one's right by the Jumpin' Jellyfish ride. This is typically where they have their AP corners at over here in DCA. This one's a non-immersive one. So this is just normal get your candy. There's no characters here. Into another tree trail we go. This one's right by the Jumpin' Jellyfish ride. This is typically where they have their AP corners at over here in DCA. This one's a non-immersive one. So this is just normal get your candy. There's no characters here. Even though there's no character here, you still get a beautiful view of the pier and the water. Rice Krispies? We're getting Rice Krispies? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Trick or treat. Thank you. Oh, cut you off. Wow, we got Rice Krispies. That's a first. We haven't got Rice Krispies yet. We're in the bread factory where there's another tree trail. And look, they have these cool little wallpapers up. But we can't see them making the bread right now. But look, 
themed decorations. Very cool in here. There's music playing and everything. Well, I must say, my bag's full right now, Look but there's also a full, or a lot in my backpack that I'm wearing. Let me see your bag. Wow, and that's for a giant bag. Look at the size comparison of bags. And hers is almost filled up. Insane, you get lots of candy here. We got still two more tree trails too. But now it's time to go wait for the Frightfully Fun Parade. <laughs> to Villains Grove, where it seems like everyone else is going, but here's a hack. Uh, most people are going in to wait for the nine o'clock World of Color show, so I definitely check out these meet and greets over here or Villains Grove, because I feel like there'll be shorter waits. I don't know, we'll see, I could be wrong, let's go see. Oh yeah, we're walking right in. There's no line at all, we're just walking right in. So I definitely recommend doing the parade and then checking out Villains Grove. Let's check out everything that's in here. It's already looking very spooky and cool in here. Wow, this literally feels like a haunt. Like, this feels like a scare zone with no actors. Look at the spooky looking candles. Very creepy in here. I like it. I like the feel. Oh, this is all very creepy. Look, even the floor. This whole thing. This is so neat. Wow, oh, look at this. There's a bunch of vines growing on this rock over here. Wow. Let's get a closer look at it. We're in the kind of Alice in Wonderland section here. Look, there's different signs. Oh, they change. They change which way to go when the lights change. That's really neat. Oh, wow. This is all so pretty. Disney really outdid themselves with this area. Another example of those different arrows changing.
crew. Not a lot of crowd. It's called what? No, it's Villains Grove. That's that's a grotto over there. That used to be Ariel's Grotto. Villains Grove. Very cool. But what did you say about the wing and line thing? I just thought if I, because the line was so long, like before, like to me, I would just be super disappointed. Like if I were to wait, probably like that's probably like a 30 minute wait. And the long and the wait, the wait that we saw earlier, I would have been disappointed. But if it was like a 10 minute wait, I'd be fine. Yeah. But beautiful. I mean, beautiful in there, and it's, it makes you feel very creepy. Something that you're not really used to at Disney, which I like. I really enjoyed Villains Grove, and I'm, I'm curious to see, I mean, if Oogie Boogie Bash comes back next year, to see how Disney will one-up them with this, or if they'll bring it back in, but it was beautiful in there nonetheless, so it was cool. And it's just like perfect photo opportunities in there. So definitely check it out after the parade though, because that is when we walk right in. So watch the parade around the Paradise Gardens Park, and then go right in to Villains Grove, because from right now, there's no wait. What are we about to do? Go trick or treat. Another trick or treat trail. This is our eighth one. Now, keep in mind, this is empty, but my backpack's almost full. So, it's our eighth one, which is in the front of Cars Land. And then we have one in the front of the park, which we didn't see earlier, but I'm assuming that's just because they were trying to get normal daytime guests out. So we're gonna go check that out after this and we're gonna go check out some character meet and greets and such let's go have some fun around the last couple hours of oogie boogies and then we're gonna end the night with villainous the world of color show at 10 45. look at cars land all beautifully lit up at night for halloween time look look at these spooky things right here look at them very scary stuff here in cars land that tree trail was definitely loaded though. It was more of a compact one, but there's definitely a lot of different stations where you can get candy and apples and apple squeezes and carrots and grapes and apple crisp. My favorite the thing. Apple crisp. <laughs> that, yeah, my favorite thing other than candy is the apple crisp. They're so good. We're in line to meet Snow White and Dopey. Dopey's a rare character, and it's cool to see him with Snow White. I'm gonna take a picture of them right now. Hello, Dopey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Snow White. Good. Now you know the evil queen's here, right? What was that? You know the evil queen's here, right? I do know, but she's far away. Okay. So over here. Oh, Dopey wants to know? He was making sure that I knew the evil queen was here. Yeah, I don't want you guys getting in trouble. That's why we're hiding over here. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a safe distance. Nothing to worry about. Should we get a picture? Yes, sure. Okay, let's do it. So this is where the end tree trail is at. It's like you're kind of going to the exit. Hello. Thank you. you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, it's on this like, right down Buena Vista Street. I mean, we're just gonna make a U-turn and go back in, but I feel like you should hit this one when you're going towards the exit. Recommendation from the cast member earlier about doing all the trick or treat trails after she was correct i mean we just did four tree trails or three we did three tree trails again all the interactive ones the oogie boogie dr facilier and mad hatter and they were dead there was nobody yeah we stocked up on candy so definitely recommend if you want to do them twice do them when you first get here and then after the parade do them again or if you just want to do them once, wait till after the parade because they yeah, like meet all were... the characters and stuff first. If that's what you want to do, and then like. Yeah. I feel like that's the best way to go. But now we're gonna go wait for Villainous, the World of Color overlay. I'm very excited about that. I'm about to meet Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. Can we go in? Hello. How are you? Oh. Oh. Okay. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was a fail. Hey, Ferb. We finally met Phineas and Ferb. I have seen it all online that Phineas and Ferb are meeting and greeting. They're very rare characters. They used to be common, but they're rare now. All I wanted to do was meet Phineas and Ferb. We, we kept going back there, and I always thought it was Kim Possible, which Kim Possible is cool, but I wanted to meet Phineas and Ferb. I didn't want to see her. Yeah, I, I didn't want to meet her either, really, because, like, they just don't have as cool costumes, but we finally got to meet Phineas and Ferb, and they were all alone. They were so lonely. <laughs> Nobody wanted to meet them, but I... 
We'll gladly meet them and we finally got a picture with them. Yeah. So now we are gonna go wait for the world to collide <laughs> after that slight intermission. All right, well, here's a tip. We're watching the 1045 showing. Look, this is 20 minutes before. Oh my goodness, this is up front too. So definitely recommend checking out the second showing if you're coming to Oogie Boogie's Bash. Because the nine o'clock showing is right after the parade ends and everyone will come here, but this is the 10 o'clock showing. Like I said, 20 minutes before. Crazy, it's empty. We decided to come out this year. We're definitely gonna be coming back to either the Mickey's Halloween party next year or Oogie Boogie Bash, whichever one's coming. Did you enjoy yourself tonight? I had a lot of fun. It's such a great event. So if you're coming out here, you're gonna have tons and tons of fun. Just follow our couple tips that we gave you throughout the video because it helped us out a lot. Check us out on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. Click that subscribe button with those bell notifications on. Lastly, visit our website at SoCalExploring.com for detailed theme park updates and haunted attraction news. I've been Scott. I've been Savannah. And we have been SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. Stay spooky, everybody. You're going too early. Oh my gosh. And most of the time, she's very tired, as we are all the time. Remember to keep exploring. Uh, peace. peace. Uh, see ya everybody. Everybody, everyone I know. I'm not a demonstration.